what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back about to wrap up the first season of spartacus i'm excited because man this show has some beautiful writing um, i'm gonna do episode 13 and then we're gonna do guys of the arena the prequel right i think that's the name of it i'm not sure i <laughs> I think it's God of Gods of the Arena next, the the prequel to season one. Let me make sure. I think it is Gods of the Arena. I'm not sure. Yes, Gods of the Arena. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so trying to make sure I don't have any feedback. Hopefully I don't. But yeah. We're going to see how this wraps up because Spartacus is planning to break out, <laughs> planning an escape of sorts, you know, and to kill everybody, you know, because, you know, Batiatus and all these, are, he, 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 somehow, you know, he's trying to get his status was denied by the Legatus until he pulled that thing from Elithia and about Elithia and they decided okay you got your your sponsor but on the other side of things <laughs> the gladiators are planning a coup they're planning to break out not necessarily it's not a coup it's an escape so we'll see how happened doctor found out that you know what i'm saying they killed um varro not varro barca right finally found out what happened to barca because um girl told him the slave girl that um that Crixus was with navia so there's a lot and this is the the um the the season finale so let's go see what this is all about i'll see you guys right back here for the review all right so here i go new logo new new background whatever gods of the arena Gannicus. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about season one. Uh, I said a lot there at the end of, you know, episode 13. I said a lot, <laughs> you know, but I do want to give a proper season one review. Um, so let's get the, the things that I that I didn't like, which is more than likely unavoidable um, on their part. Production, production wise. Um, you know, this all boils down to budget and stuff like that, but there was this, the aesthetics of the show was, was kind of on and off in some places, if I should say so. It's kind of on and off. It was kind of like some episodes you had really good blood aesthetics, as in the blood looked real, and then in some episodes, the blood looked super fake. Like it was like they're changing production teams or they just it was weird to me so that was kind of a throw off for me like it wasn't consistent you get what i'm saying not to say that i was not enjoying the show um uh, but it was just it was just a bit of a throw off for me we're talking about the story the story is mwah, magnificent so it's it was just to the point where um you know at the end there at the end of episode 13 you heard me talking about comparing it to game of thrones the reason why i compare this show to game of thrones i'm gonna tell you guys why i do that is because game of thrones is very far and wide considered to be the goat of tv at this point they fell off for the final season i would say if you chop off maybe like the final two seasons of game of thrones you basically kind of have perfection except for the fact that a lot of people didn't like the, the whole Dorn situation because they kind of spoiled Dorn. but if you take into consideration just in t the tv aspect of it forget about the books it was kind of like almost perfection for tv and that's why it, it's so well renowned people love it worldwide you know it's not a lot of shows that get renowned worldwide like game of thrones does like beloved 
shows you get what i'm saying for tv like some tv shows are you know in the country that they're specifically produced they get fame that way not really a worldwide thing but game of thrones was a worldwide thing like you get what i'm saying so it, it became an iconic tv show so for spartacus i heard about spartacus and people say spartacus was pretty popular when it was airing um you know, but I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me if the popularity was the same as Game of Thrones, but I don't believe so, but I'm going to leave that at that. Um, the reason why I compared to, to, to it is because the, it's not similar in story or anything like that, but the way how it's written and well thought out and where they want to take characters and character development for this first season if i'm gonna compare apples to apples to apples you get what i'm saying when it comes on to hitting game of thrones as i said season one of game of thrones um did better in i would say they did they did probably the same amount of work because i don't want to i don't want to say i think i love them both the same you get what I'm saying? As in how they fleshed out characters and help us to understand the world of, you know, that we're in, that we're seeing, you know what I'm saying? Um, challenging, um, challenging situations like love, you get what I'm saying? Challenging situations like, you know, evil versus good and how people can become corrupt by, certain aspects or things that happen to them in life you know if you're going to talk about spartacus and where he's coming from and how he ended up a slave and stuff like that you know what i'm saying they did an awesome job of showing us who this main character is who is spartacus and you know batiatus is the one that took advantage of all of that and then it all came right back around to him karma is a bitch came back right around to him getting killed um because he did all of this stuff just to rise in power regardless of who he was betraying you can't imagine how different the story would be if if if, if spartacus if he did not order the killing of spartacus wife you can't imagine Imagine how different this story would be. It wouldn't have ended with his death. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so great writing on their part, man. The story is just off the chain. So many OMG moments. I don't remember. I, I, and that's why I said that um, there was some very OMG moments in Game of Thrones that I really loved in, in season one. But none of them made me jump out of my chair like Spartacus because we had... Spartacus just has everything you want. You want you get the entertainment, the story, you know what I'm saying? The savageness, the 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 um the um the dialogue is awesome. You know what I'm saying? Um it's just the back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like every word is so carefully thought out of what these characters supposed to say that you're like you never hear sitting like bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty awesome. So when it comes on to to this man, I love it because the story is great. Um, another thing um, that I usually talk about is sound, and the reason why I talk about sound because you guys don't understand. If you do not have sound in TV shows, like everybody knows, if you start playing the, the Game of Thrones theme, everybody knows it's Game of Thrones because it's just it's there with it. Like the um, the Spartacus um, beginning da da da. Uh, or whatever it just it fits it fits the arena it fits everything and choosing those things when it comes on to whoever is in charge of audio design like choosing the right sounds to fit an era and also to fit moments going on in the show it takes a very brilliant mind to do so or if not one brilliant mind a company of brilliant minds that come together to create the sounds to create to to create the um the um the score per se of a particular show or movie or anime whatever it is 
it takes brilliant mind to do this and um, take it from a person who has studied music over the years when it comes out I don't do it I don't I don't really do it anymore but in my younger years you know what I'm saying I was deeply involved with music trust me when I tell you that it's not easy it's not an easy task to put music to acting and 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 you know video it's not an easy thing to do to match it to the point where the the viewer can can get the 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 full experience of what you are trying to portray so trust me when i tell you it's not easy and that's why i praise it so much that's why i never leave it out when i'm talking about those aspect technical aspects of whatever i'm watching if it's good if it's on point trust me you'll get so much more emotion whether it's whether whether it's happy whether it's sad all these emotions are based on what the score says it will be <laughs> you get what i'm saying like you can't have somebody sad and have freaking ice cream truck music playing in the background <laughs> it's just not gonna work so for me those technical aspects are very key when it comes on to presenting something like this a show like this capturing the era of rome in those days you know what i'm saying um so that so that's pretty awesome so i enjoyed it very much man and i'm looking forward to see what they're going to do in the season after gods of arena after we do this prequel also so for the episode one of the prequel we get to see why Batiatas became a savage because this dude was really looked down on and everybody was like they kind of respect his father in a certain way but he was still looked down on because they're just whatever they were never really in power they just provide these fighters you know what i'm saying as they provide these fighters um these gladiators train them and put them in the arena to gain glory but they could never but batiatus as we know he wanted more than that he wanted more than just you know being in charge of a ludus he wanted to be more political he wanted to to venture off into new things and become political and become a senator and do this and do that and whatever he just didn't want to be just that he was very very ambitious so um but he was willing to do too many of nasty things and it just came back right around to him getting killed as we know at the end of season one so it's good to see this i'm i i am happy for the actresses um and actors that are doing this um i'm happy for them because they brought they brought him we got to see Crickless when he's a little bit younger with the long hair <laughs> don't know what that was about but <laughs> you know got to see um but there's something going on with with between Ganicus and um the doctor that we know because i can't remember his name his real name amidius or whatever um his wife there's something going on between them and i think something is going to come afoot and we're going to find out what really happened between them but i don't i still don't think he's going to sell Ganicus. i don't think so if he does then i guess that's how maybe Crixus gets his fame or whatever the situation is so we'll see we'll see what happened they did him dirty though pissed on him and and you know what i'm saying I, I can understand why you would become a savage after that shoot you kill somebody <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyways man i'm glad they brought in one of my favorite actresses um in the show and i i like that because i i really like her I've never seen her titties, and now, you know what I'm saying? I, in some ways, this really spoils the fantasy, man, of us having crush on these celebrities. I know they're just regular people, don't get me wrong. They're, just, they're regular people, like me and you. You get what I'm saying? But just seeing them on the screen, like, you, you've held them in such high regard sometimes. Like, this is a woman that I've had a crush on. I don't have it anymore, but I've had a crush on her, and I was when i was younger seeing her in tv shows and movies and, and and whatever you know i've seen her and i've always like loved how elegant she is and now i'm seeing her titties it's just ruined 
everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, thank you guys so much. You guys also had let me know that Lucretia, which is, um, I don't remember, Lucy Lawless, right? That's her name, I think. I think that's her name, Lucy Lawless. She played Xena, which is, I never watched the Xena series. I never watched it. I maybe watched one or two episodes because at one point it was on TV or something when I was really young. So to see her like this now, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, as I said, it ruins, it. <laughs> it ruins the flavor for me when it comes on to these women, because now I'm seeing them in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's, it's, I don't know. It kind of spoils the image. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just, I'm just saying. Maybe you guys feel the same way. Maybe you don't. Or maybe I'm just thinking into it too much. But anyways, man. Season was awesome. Season one and this episode one for Gods of Arena. Gods of the Arena is pretty cool. Getting to know these guys when they were a little bit younger when they just came in. Um, I think that's the the doctor. That that's how he died, right? When the, it looked like he's the one that went there with Batiatus, it seems. So. We'll get to see. I think it was him. So guess maybe now is the time that Amidius is going to step into being the doctor right now. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Your boy, Terabyte Reacts, is here. And is gone. Peace.